And let's enjoy the moment, Roland Minson Tonight, and Mel Hutchins. Tonight, we honor two of BYU's all-time greats, Mel Hutchins and Roland Minson. Hutchins was a first-team All-American and two-time first-team All-Conference honoree while at BYU. He was a two-sport star from Arcadia, California. He came to Provo in the fall of 1946 to play football for the Cougars. Basketball coach Floyd Millett soon discovered the long-armed freshman and convinced him to switch to the hardwood. He developed a campus nickname, the Big Elf. Hutchins played on the freshman squad before helping the Cougars win a conference title in 1948. After sitting out a year due to scholarship reductions at BYU, Hutchins returned to Provo for the 1950 season. Roland Minson was a three-time first-team all-conference member and the 1951 NIT MVP. He was a sought-after blue-chip recruit out of Idaho Falls. After much prayer and consideration, Minson chose BYU over schools such as Ohio State, UCLA, Washington, Utah State, and Utah. He enrolled at BYU and immediately led the 1948 freshman squad to a 12-0 record known as the Cat. Minson quickly established himself on the varsity the next season, leading BYU to 21 victories and being voted the most outstanding newcomer in 11 Western states. It was 1950 before Hutchins and Minson played together for the first time. They helped make BYU one of the best in the West. Under the direction of the great Stan Watts, the dynamic duo led the Cougars to 22 wins, the Skyline Conference Championship, and a trip to the 1950 NCAA Tournament. Despite this success, Hutchins and Minson wanted more. In 1951, their hard work, dedication, and determination paid off again as Hutchins and Minson led the Cougars to a program record 28 wins, a conference title, and the NIT National Championship, laying claim to the greatest basketball team in BYU history. Tonight, we honor Mel and Roland for setting the bar high and establishing a firm foundation for BYU basketball. Cougar fans of all ages, this evening we are proud to present to you two of BYU's all-time greats from the 1951 NIT National Champions. At forward, a six-foot national champion and NIT Final Four MVP from Idaho Falls, Idaho, number 11, Roland the Cat Minson. Center, a six foot five All American and NBA All Star from Arcadia, California, number 14, Mel the Big L Hutchins. Square Garden is jam-packed for the final of the National Invitation Tournament. Dayton University in white jerseys versus Brigham Young. In a close, tense first half, the two teams trade basket for basket. Christensen of BYU scoring this one. Brigham Young, the pride of Utah, has plenty of tricks to show the boys from Ohio. Roland Minson, voted most valuable player of the tournament, misses one of his potent jump shots. However, when the versatile Minson gets a second chance against the Dayton Flyers, he puts it up and in there. Second half, after Dayton had held them to a 28 to 26 lead at intermission, Brigham Young blasts the game wide open, scoring 11 points in a row. Jerry Romney thrills the huge New York arena as he cuts in to rack up a basket. As the final seconds tick away, Dayton is still in there fighting. But at the buzzer, the final score is 62 to 43 in favor of Brigham Young, champions of college basketball's postseason classic, the National Invitation Tournament. And a moment ago, taking the mic, Roland Minson. You know, when you get older, you get a chance to give advice. And I've been waiting for a couple of weeks now to give you students, especially you men students, 
advice. Uh, one of the things I want you all to know is that when you get older, you still feel like you got a lot of things on the ball. Uh, problem is you can't dribble at it anymore. <laughs> the other thing is you, you, you men here, especially the basketball team, I want you to be as lucky as we were on our basketball team. Every one of us found some girl that didn't know any better that said yes to us. And then you'll have the good luck that we have, every one of our team. They're, we're still married to that young, beautiful BYU co-ed after 63 years. And you want to find out, a, find a co-ed has got a lot of patience because she, she needs to help you grow up, okay? Thank you for this, it's a real honor, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the cat, Roland Minson. And now it's time to pass the mic like Roland did the ball to number 14, Mr. Mel Hutchins. Well, Stan Watts was the kind of man that you would like to have as a father because of what he did for the ball players. He was a coach that just didn't say no to practice. And he made us practice and practice and practice, sometimes getting hurt in a small gym. The ladies' gym used to be the gym. And so Stan pushed us so hard on defense that we could stop a team from making any points, actually. We won the, the thing in, in uh, uh, now I get, I lose this, and send the, oh, where is it? Anyway, we won the seven games by Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden. I'm sorry. <laughs> We played seven teams there and beat all seven of them by more than 20 points. And then I, I was fortunate to go to a, 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 rest, a point with the uh, um, our, our coach who was at that time the, oh, not only the coach, but he was our uh, man in the, s s the uh, oh. I gotta get my, my curio. I'm his memory. He, um, the the, the all-star team. The all-star team that we played with the man that was for three years our, what was he, for three years? I lost my memory. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he, he got to the thing and he says, Mel, he says, this is an all-star game that you're going to play in this, in this thing. We've got the, um, people that are going to play a half a game and the other play, uh, are going to play a half a game. And so they had ex the extras of the, from the coast. And he said, uh, Mel, he says, instead of grabbing the ball and passing it out, grab the ball and put it in the basket. I said, that makes sense. <laughs> and so I did that and got 22 points in the half, half of a ski. And that... Let's wrap it up. Okay. And that wrapped up my game and made me the first draft choice in the NBA and then I was an All-American there for five years. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mel Hutchins. To give them the individual credit they deserve. But when we called Mel, he said, we did it as a team before, we're going up together. So they're going up together tonight.
I know it's special for Roland and Mel to have this individual honor, but this evening they talked about, more importantly, their family, their children, and their teammates, their love for their teammates, and that's what made this 51 championship team so special. So tonight, turn your attention up to the rafters to see the newest retired jerseys of BYU basketball. Let, it, let them fly. Mel Hutchins, Roland Minson. <laughs> 